What's up, peddlers? All right, uh, the Orbea is in the shop today. Uh, we were actually closed today, so I'm here. But it is in here for a little bit of surgery. Uh, there's a possibility that I will be changing out the grips and possibly introducing a new product. Um, actually, the biggest thing that it's coming in here for is, well, this. So we are going to do a swap on the spoke and while we've got the tire off anyway we will be installing the cush core on the rear um it's it's time it's it's gonna happen uh wish me luck let's get into it all right step one in Fixing spoke and installing cash core. Remove wheel. Twisty, twisty, pulley, pulley. That's where we're at. Axle's out. I guess if I was smart, I would do the thing with this thing. Twist down. Doesn't really matter. It's tangled up inside itself. Darn it. I guess step one is these two hands. All right. Remove wheel, and if you're lucky, you have one of these things. If you're not lucky to have a WH1, um, I'm sorry, these things are awesome. Uh, all right, so, deflate tire. <laughs> Step two, empty air out tire. Two. I don't know why the phone's ringing. Step three, remove tire from rim, which consists of breaking the bead, which I doubt that I can do with one hand. So, uh, remove tire from bead. All right, after a whole lot of fighting, uh, I finally managed to break the bead on both sides. Uh, I do have to say this Bond Trigger carbon wheel definitely knows how to hold a bead. All right, tire removed. Uh, now remove valve and possibly rim strip. If you have a rim strip, the Von Traeger TLR system is awesome. Uh, not a Trek guy specifically, but uh, I just happen to have some stuff. So I'm going to clean up the sealant and uh, get the rim strip removed. If you have tape, just pull your tape and uh, get the thing up on the stand so we can get the spoke out. All right, step whatever we're on. Remove accessories, so brakes, cassette, freewheel, whatever it is. Uh, in this case, yes. So let me do that real quick, like. You know. And just like that, um, well, because screw U13 cassettes, that's all I gotta say. Uh, it was actually easier to just pull the entire um, XD driver body off the wheel. So now we are going to get the spoke out. Um, Gonna walk over to the trowing stand. So that's where I'm gonna need to be anyway. Uh, and I've got somebody getting me a spoke length, so I don't have to try to guess or measure. All right, let's find our wrapped up spoke. Oh, One-handed, not so much fun. Bing. All right, we uh, we already shook the spoke nipple out of the wheel. Uh, so I am getting a verification of spoke length and also whether or not I need to use that nipple or if I can just use anything. All right, anyway, so uh, spoke out, get spoke length, put new spoke in. Step number letter whatever, um, install new spoke, use the wrong color nipple so you know how many spokes you've broken. Uh, true wheel. Watch a tutorial on that. Uh, I can send you some good ones. Um, and then put parts back on like this. And just like magic, disc rotors back on, cassette, free hub bodies back on, rim strip back on. Now comes the absolute fun part, and this is the part that uh, will probably require me to seriously use both hands and maybe some feet. So uh, time for Kush Core. All right, cash core time. Um, actually, you can buy these as a kit and you save a couple bucks. Um, I went with singles 
because I am running a 2.4 inch rear tire and a 2.8 inch front tire. So that. All right, uh, let's get to work. Made soft hammer thing. I may not, we'll see how this goes. Nope, already pain in the ass. <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> Apparently, definitely want and need the hammer. Don't be a bitch. on both sides and axis on both sides <laughs> tire direction man i should like change this tire that's fine this way this way yep got gross sealant in it gonna make a mess line up your valve ahead of time and your things because you'll be pissed later if you don't You already have sealant that slides on so much nicer. My rim's gonna be gross, but. I have a better tool for this, but I don't know if it'll be better. Bought the crush core tire off because it just because The worst thing ever. Whoo! On one side. <laughs> now repeat on the other side. <laughs>
Not bad. <laughs> now I just gotta clean all the crap off of it. You can measure with a new tire. Oh, dude, that would suck with a new tire. I mean, the sealant probably helps a lot. Because this stuff is still really slippery. I mean, tons of soapy water, I guess. Kind of hate using paper towels, but I don't think this stuff will wash off of uh, my rags. And I'm just going to get the big chunks and then... Moment of truth. See if this thing seats. <laughs> Not sure why you walk around the corner. Come on, pop. Well, don't pop, but do the thing. There. I mean, I have to say these uh, these Maxxis tires seat so nicely on most stuff. Except that that's gonna be. Come on, a little bit more. I don't have any more air left. There it is. And now I have Coach Core <laughs> on the important wheel, one that I don't want to explode. I probably should have weighed this to see how much more weight I've added to my wheel now. That's kind of the original idea was to put a carbon wheel on to save weight, but oh well. <laughs> All right, and magically wheels on, tires on. Uh, that went way better than expected. Uh, so we get to play around with some tire pressures next time we ride. So next step is grips. Grips. So we're going to do some grips, and I'm going to show you a little trick to something in a second. Anyway, uh, grips are coming off, and new grips are going on. And, wow, that was fast. Uh, so new grips are on. Um, so we can see on this side, there's a bit of a hole. Over here, not so much. So I'm going to show you a quick little trick. Um, if you've got grips and you need access to the end of the bars, take a hammer, soft mallet. You can use the hammer end if you want and just tap your way around and it will cut out a perfect little circle. Just like so. All right. And the reason for that is this, this. So I've got the uh, Lazine dual insert uh, bar in kit, and that's why we needed holes on the end of our bar, so we can stick these bad boys in. So uh, give me just a second, get these unpackaged, and whoosh, stick them in. And there they are. So on one side, we have 
the tubeless insert kit that has the um, tire plugs. And on this side, we have the multi-tool with rotating head and lots of bits. So yeah, um, I will leave a link for this in the description of the video and slide that back in there. And that and that and that, we got a Garmin mount. You guys saw the video recently on the Garmin. And I got one more thing to put on here. Um, this saddle is seen better days. Uh, it's never been super comfortable. So I am going to do something a little bit silly. Uh, I am actually just going to run the Cloud9 Sport Comfort saddle on here and uh, see how that does. So that saddle's going away. This one is going on there. And done. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure it's crooked. Uh, one thing I didn't know, or I didn't actually pay attention to, was this little notch there. Uh, once I loosen this up a little bit, I can lift the bolt up and out. It makes the saddle come out really easily, which means I don't have to touch the front bolt, which means the saddle angle will be right. But I have to fix this saddle angle. So we're going to drop the bike down and fix the saddle angle and see what it looks like. Okay, so surprisingly, it's uh, not too far off. So let's just, uh, that's the right one. Give this a little bit of a turn up. And give this a little bit of a snug. There we go. Uh, I know this isn't technically, oh. Oh. oh, yeah, it's a little crooked. Um, I'm call it technically not the right type of saddle for this bike but at this point if I'm not jumping in I'm out riding it and who cares what saddle I'm sitting on as long as my butt's comfy so bike uh if anybody would actually like an official bike check on this bike let me know uh until then I've put stuff on bike things have happened and now I'm gonna go eat food I'm hungry all right guys thanks for uh hanging out thanks for trying this new little style of video with me. Uh, until next time, thanks for pedaling with me. See you out on the trails.